Hey guys, today we're talking about blessing our home. All right guys, so I wasn't even planning on doing a video today, but I had to tell you about the flyleaf system that I just like rediscovered. I found out about it a, a long time ago and I shined my sink and then that's kind of where I stopped. And so just yesterday, so I have a cold, so if I sound funny, that's why. Um, I was kind of just putzing around and I found this girl who started talking about someone else on YouTube. And so instead of watching her video, I watched, I hopped over to the other lady who, her name is Fly Lady Cat. And I started like binge watching her stuff and she has this whole video for newbies. It breaks down the whole Fly Lady system, which is really helpful getting that overview. It's about 45 minute video. It's really good. And so I'll pin that down below. So yesterday I ended up doing like six loads of laundry, which I know it's Sunday and I'm not supposed to do that, but it was like, it didn't feel like work. It just felt like I was blessing my home and kind of relieving some of the headspace I had. Anyway, before I go on, if you're new here, I'm Laura and um, I hope if you end up liking this video, give you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new also, please subscribe and ring the little notification bell. I try to do at least two videos a week and they're on Catholicism, homemaking, motherhood, homeschooling, and just anything else that seems pertinent and could be possibly helpful or informative to you guys. So, also make sure in the comments down below, you tell me if you follow the flyaway system, if you know what I'm talking about, maybe you don't know what I'm talking about. Either way, comment down below. I love having discussions with you guys. So long story short, this morning I got up and it's Monday. And on Mondays, this flyaway cat uh, woman blesses her home and she, it's about an hour long cleaning. So rather than the three hour marathons I was doing once in a while or the little tasks that I was doing every day, I literally spent an hour blessing, my, less than an hour, blessing my home and got all the main stuff done and it was really cool and it felt so good coming home from getting groceries today and walking into this home that I knew was dusted and mopped and all these things but it had only taken me an hour or less than an hour. I really wanted to share that with you. So there are seven things that as far as I can tell, I haven't like gone on the flylady.net yet and like really looked at her stuff, but from Fly Lady Cat, and um, I think also Diana from Denmark also talks about this, and I love her because she talks about hug, which is um, this, I think, Swedish word about making your home like cozy and warm and like Himalayan lambs and music and cozy fabrics. And it's just a wonderful philosophy that actually doesn't translate in English properly, but so she talks about that as well as Fly Lady stuff, and then Kat has, is like an active Fly Lady mentor. So both are really awesome channels. I'll link them down below. So there is, as far as I can tell, when you're blessing your home, you're spending 10 minutes on each task, and there's up to seven tasks that you can do. So technically up to 70 minutes. The first one, which I skipped because we just did this, is to strip your sheets and wash them. So with Fly Lady, you're doing a load of laundry at least every day, which is already something I've been trying to incorporate. So um, from now on, Mondays will probably be sheet day, and I like to do just everybody at the same time. You could rotate, but I think fresh sheets once a week just feel really good. Some people do like their kids one day, week, and then their, theirs another week, but I do love that there's a designated day for sheets. because, Like I said, I just done them on Friday, but, and because, it just makes it to where you're not gonna forget. The whole idea is to make a lot of these things habitual so that you don't even know you're making your bed. You don't even know, you know that you're dressed to your shoes. Like it just kind of happens. So the first thing she does is start the sheets load. The second thing is to take out all the garbage and recycling from your entire house, which I love this. Again, our garbage day is Tuesday, so it works out really well, but it took me definitely less than 10 minutes to, and same with sheets, that would take you less than 10 minutes, you wouldn't use a timer for those, um, to go around and empty every single garbage can. And it's just this really beautiful like house blessing, right? Where all of a sudden you know that just there's not garbage in your house. Now, <laughs> I have paper piles and I know there's garbage in there. Um, that's a different video I will talk to you about. One of the routines that Kat talks about is to have a paper routine. So there's four routines, there's four, there's five routines I think that Kat comes up with. And so those are the things I'm working on this week are to work on making all those habits kind of right in them out or those routines. 
So that's a whole other video, but getting a garbage and recycling out, okay? So then I just tried to think of it logically. So I decided to do, so the next thing is I do is windows and mirrors because if anything came off the windows and mirrors, I was gonna dust after this. So I set a 10 minute timer. I grabbed my Grove Collaborative glass cleaner and a microfiber cloth, just one microfiber cloth, and I literally hit every single window in my house plus all the mirrors. Like I couldn't believe how fast and how well I could get the entire house, all the windows, really? Like that always seems such sort of a daunting task, like, oh, I have to clean the windows. But I got it all done in 10 minutes, plus like all the bathroom mirrors, plus the mirrors, and you know when that timer went off, that's it, you're done. And you end that task. So then after I I did the windows, then I grabbed the Dollar Tree little mitt that they have them over in the car wash section. They're for like, you know, washing your car, but I use them to dust because this is fast. This is just blessing your home. This is not deep cleaning. That's where zones come in. And I don't even know anything about zones, but I will pin, pin um, how Jen does it because she's all about the zone cleaning. And so if you want to jump into that, you'll have a resource. But so I decided to dust and literally I think I ran out of things to dust before the timer went off. Like I did all the pictures and all the windows and all the chairs and all the flat spaces and most fly lady followers will use a feather duster because you're not picking stuff up. This is not deep clean dusting. This is 10 minutes, see how much you can get done. And when the 10 minutes are up, they're up. So because of that, you're starting out in your most lived in areas. So I started at the front door, worked my way to the back of the house. And then if I had time, I went upstairs and did some things. But um, really the idea is that you're just having this really maintainable downstairs where everything is, or main floor, um, so that things are just clean and presentable in case people pop by or just so that you can live in a space that's you know relatively dust free and tidy. So after dusting, you do a 10 minute vacuum. Yes, you may not get to the entire house, but that doesn't matter. Um, my, I had a Dyson, it's in my Amazon store if you want to check it out. I swear by Dyson stick vacuums. I have the a V8 Animal, I know there's like a V10 now, but the V8 is awesome. It has enough time for me. Um, I think it runs for 20 full minutes on normal mode, not max mode. And I can get, because it's so light, I was able to do the whole downstairs plus part of the sh stairs. I didn't go upstairs because my husband's napping and so, because he had all nighter. Um, and so that's the only reason why I didn't do upstairs, but I'm sure I would have had time left to get almost all of my house vacuumed again. A, a stick vacuum of some sort, of course Dyson, the performance is amazing. So I don't even own like an upright vacuum, I just own my one Dyson. So. Um, after vacuuming, I got out my mop, and again, this is in my Amazon store. It's just the Rubbermaid spray mop, and I have the cleaner from Grove Collaborative. I will have that video up this week as well, just so you can kind of see what, I've, what I get from Grove Collaborative. I'm new to them, but I'm really loving this idea of having cleaning supplies in my house. <laughs> it's one of those like basics, you know, plus they're the stuff I like. I just squirted that. Again, 10 minutes, I mopped my entire downstairs plus the bathroom. Um, if my husband hadn't been up there, I would have gone up and mopped the other two bathrooms, but that was it. And then that's it. The only thing left that I hadn't, hadn't done yet is spend 10 minutes kind of culling newspapers and magazines, like things that kind of gather. I just have some paper piles, like I have a basket of receipts and I have just some odds and ends that I need to get done with. And so I think I'm going to set a 10 minute timer later today and spend, or 15 minutes maybe, and spend that time just getting through, you know, a little inch of paper. I love, I love the idea of these little inches and these little pockets of time that, as a perfectionist, you just can get so wrapped up in, you wanting to get it all done, you want to get it all done right, and then nothing gets done. So, if you're a perfectionist and you can relate, <laughs> tell me down below. So I just wanted to share that, because especially with Easter coming up, and maybe a family coming in town, man, this house blessing is a beautiful way to get started and then you can just kind of touch up whatever you need to if you have a guest room or if you want to clean your oven or your fridge because you know family's gonna like be opening and closing those then you can but my literally my mom's coming in two weeks and i will house bless i'll bless my house next monday and that is about all i'll have to do i'll probably do like a, a, a mop a vacuum right before she gets here but i am just really impressed again like i used to spend so much time so much time and then the idea is that in your daily routines 
you're swishing the toilets, you're wiping down the counters, you're wiping down the toilet. Kind of like what I talked about with those um, reusable wipes, just doing the quick wipe. And so your bathrooms don't ever really get really gross because you can just, you're constantly kind of spot treating them. And then, I mean, yeah, in your kitchen, in your nightly routine, you're shining your sink every night, not like the hour long shining your sink, but you know, you're making sure it's really cleaned out every single night. And I have been throughout the day, I'll put in a picture of my sink that I shined. I, it's crazy how motivating that is. And I just used vinegar and baking soda. I didn't use any like toxic. Oh, and then someone said olive oil to really like coat it. So that was a great tip to kind of like really shine it up. But yeah, so I will pin flylight.net down below as well. Let me know if you would have, if you practice like the flylight technique. I think this coincides really, really well with the mother's rule for life, or yeah, mother's rule of life, which I'm about to, I'm about to finish, and so I'll have some videos coming up about that um, during the Easter season, and so I think these co coincide really, really well because you can take the fly lady routines and plug them into the priorities and the different calendar like schedule like schedules you make or routines you make. So I thought that was really cool. Um, so yeah, I just felt like popping on here and telling you guys about that. So maybe in another, once I get my routines in place, I'll do some morning routine, evening routine, maybe a paper routine, that kind of stuff. But okay, I, my throat is killing me. So I'm gonna get off the camera. God bless, have a very beautiful day. And again, let me know down below if this is something new to you or if you've been blessing your house for years. So God bless, and I'll talk to you again soon. Happy Holy Week, bye.